We are solving the CSIR NAT Physical Science June 2019 Problems of Quantum Mechanics. This is a 3.5 marks question related to the perturbation. In this problem, and the infinite square well potential of a particle of size A is modified as shown in figure below. So this is a modified curve. One is having energy here energy epsilon is reduced with width delta here this and this energy is added with width delta so both these areas are equal on the basis of this plot the question is asking the ground is the energy of ground state compared to ground energy state energy before the perturbation was added that means Correction in the ground state energy first increases by a it's not term theme is term of order epsilon decreases by term of order epsilon increases by term of order epsilon or decreases by term of order epsilon here epsilon denotes order of correction that means epsilon is first order correction and epsilon square is second order correction First order correction First order correction is also equal to the area under curve. Since both this area is equal, but one is in negative, negative. direction so effective area under curve is zero this means first order Correction in energy for the given potential is zero. Second, the second order. Correction in energy for the ground state is always negative. So now check it out our option. The energy of ground state increases by term of first order correction so first order correction ground correction is zero so there is no change in the four order zero now increase by term of order epsilon no so there is a decrease in energy for second order term hence our option d is correct 
This problem is related to the adiabatic perturbation. Let us discuss this. A quantum particle of mass m in one dimension confined to a rigid box as shown in the figure. So that is our rigid box now. An infinitesimally thin wall is slowly raised to infinity at the center of box. So at the center means x is equal to 0. An infinitesimally wall is placed. Okay. such that the system remains in grand state all time. So initially the system is in G0 state or I would be saying E1 and this system, new system would also remain in even dashed state. Assuming that the no energy is lost in raising the wall, the work done by the system when the wall is fully raised, eventually separating the original box into two compartments is. So, work done would be W would be E1 dash minus E1, where E1 is the ground state. of the box having length 2L and even this is the ground state energy the box having length L. Now, E1 would be pi square h square by 2m into 2L square. That means pi square h square by 8ml square. And E1 dash would be pi square h square by 2ml square. So, work done. In this case, will be pi square h square by 2ml square minus pi square h square by 8 ml square 3 pi square h square by 8 ml square. So this is our energy and that means our option A is correct. In this question, the wave function of a free particle of mass f constrained to move in an interval minus l x l is defined like this one that is psi x is equals to a into l square minus x square where is normalization constant. We have to determine the probability of the particle that the particle will be found to have energy this month means corresponding to psi 1. Now, normalization constant is determined as psi of x psi of x is equals to a square minus l to l l square minus x square square dx implies twice a square 0 to l l square minus x square square dx is equals to 1 or 2a square we would be having it 0 to l l ki power 4 plus x ki power 4 is 2x square l square dx equals to 2a square 
एल के पावर फोर एक्स प्लस एक्स के पावर फाइव बाई फाइव माइनस टू एक्स एक्स की वैल्यू स्क्वायर थ्री जीरो टू एल इज इक्व टू वन एम्प्लाइज टू ए स्क्वायर एल की पावर फाइव माइनस एल की पावर फाइव बाई फाइव माइनस टू एल की पावर फाइव बाई थ्री इक्व टू वन एम्प्लाइज ए वुड बी रूट फिफ्टीन बाई सिक्सटीन एल की पावर फाइव सो अवर नॉर्मलाइज साई इज गिवन बाय रूट फिफ्टीन बाय सिक्सटीन एल की पावर फाइव एल स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर फर्दर साई एन कैन बी एक्सप्रेस एज एन सी एन फाइव एन एक्स मल्टीप्लाय multiply this equation with phi and k phi k x so we can write it multiply with phi k x so we would be having it and c n phi n x phi k x integrals and taking integration dx equals to साई एन एक्स इंटू फाइव के एक्स इंटू डी एक्स सो वी आर वी गेट दिस टर्म डेल्टा सी एन कैन कमिंग आउट एंड हियर वी वुड बी फाइव एन एक्स इंटू फाइव के एक्स डी एक्स डेट डेट इज इक्व टू एन एन सी एन डेल्टा एन के हियर डेल्टा एन के इज क्रोनिक डेल्टा सो वी वुड बैव सी के इज इक्व टू नथिंग बट साई एन एक्स और नॉट एन सिंपली साई एंड हियर यू वुड बी हैविंग फाइ एन एक्स फाइ के एक्स फाइ के एक्स डी एक्स सो सी के इज इक्व टू साई एक्स इंटू फाइ के एक्स डी एक्स नाउ वी हैव टू डिटरमाइन द प्रोबलिटी that particle would be having energy energy pi square h square by 2 ml square that means the function corresponding to this energy would be 51 x is root 2 by l sin pi x by l so probability of finding the particle in state 1 would be p1 would be mod of c1 square so here we can substitute it root 2 by l come outside here we would be having its psi of x 15 by 16 l ki power 5 minus l to l L square minus x square, and here we would be having pi x by l into dx. Now the value of uh, this integration is zero. That means probability is zero. Here we have used probability 
we have used the identity we have used integral f of x dx minus a to a is equals to zero if fx is odd and two fx dx if fx is even. Okay. Since fx l square minus x square sin pi x by l is odd. So the value of this integration is zero. That means our option is correct for this problem. A particle is moving in central potential is described by a wave function psi r. Psi r is equal to z f r. Where r is position vector of the particle and f r is function of r. If L is angular momentum, you have to determine the value of L square. Now, psi of R can be written as F of R. Z in a spherical polar coordinate is written as R cos theta. We can take it as A cos theta. Further, L square is defined as minus H square 1 by sin theta, del by del theta, sin theta, del by del theta, 1 by sin square theta, del square by del phi square. So, operating psi r, psi r on L square, so we would get minus h square 1 by sin theta del by del theta sin theta del by del theta 1 by sin square theta del square del phi square a cos theta. So we would be having minus h square a. Now second term would be 0 because it is dependent upon theta only del theta sin theta del by del theta cos theta. So here we would be having h square a 1 by sin theta del by del theta sin square theta. Here we would be having h square a sin theta and 2 sin theta cos theta. We would be having h square a 2 cos theta which can be shown as 2 h square a cos theta or equals to original 2 h square psi of R. That means L square is having eigenvalue two h cross square. Now, one of the shortcuts for such type of problem is when psi of R is written as R f of R cos theta. Now cos theta in a spherical harmonic cost coordinate 1 0 is equal to 3 by 4 pi cos theta. So cos theta is equal to 4 pi by 3 of y 1 0. That means we can write it down 4 pi 
थ्री आर एफ ऑफ आर वाई वन जीरो सो एल इज इक्व टू वन वैल्यू ऑफ एल स्क्वायर फॉर दिस वे फंक्शन वुड बी वट एच क्रॉस स्क्वायर एल इंटू एल प्लस वन मीन्स एच स्क्वायर इंटू वन इंटू वन प्लस वन नेक्स्ट में टू एच क्रॉस स्क्वायर सो कन्वर्टिंग साइन टू स्पेरिकल हार्मोनिक कॉर्डिनेट वाई एल एम वुड सॉल्व सच टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इन अ मिनट सो लेटेस्ट चेक वट वुड बी अवर करेक्ट आंसर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए a particle of mass m in and energy e greater than 0 in one dimension is scattered by a potential below if the particle is moving from minus infinity to infinity like this one which of the following graph gives the best qualitative representation of the wave function for this particle now first thing we can check it up the potential is not symmetrical that means if the potential is not symmetrical this means wave function also not symmetrical so if we can check it out that means option b is eliminated now we are left with a c d for the let us check it out with respect to option a c d now you also have to remember one more thing amplitude of psi of x is directly proportional to lambda of x where lambda is de broglie lambda wavelength de broglie wavelength if lambda increases that means our amplitude increases theek okay? hai means lambda increase implies a increases so we just focus upon within a region c to d and later on determine what can be the cases now option d can be eliminated because one can see it it is corresponding to the two region not the three region theek okay? hai almost same so option d cannot be our answer we are left with only a and c now we know it ki lambda is inversely proportional to p that means lambda given by 2m e minus vx now if we consider the particle near in this region for this region particularly this region where v2 is much negative than v1 so we can have it lambda root over 2m e minus e v2 x e or v of x further we can we know it v is greater than v1 less than v2 because v lies in this region so lambda 
near v1 is greater than lambda 2 near v2 so that is that means amplitude at the entrance must be greater than at its exit so let us check it out this condition if we go through this condition we can check it here this is just reverse so option C is satisfying it in a proper manner original amplitude is getting decreases and become or reduce significantly when it emerges from this system so our course option is C is correct we are discussing the CSIR UGC NET JRF physical science June 2019 problems of quantum mechanics here we are having a five mark question in this problem Hamiltonian of a quantum mechanical particle is given h is equals to p square by 2m plus alpha x is to the power of where alpha and r are positive constant we have to determine energy dependence en dependence on on an this problem is based on WKB approximation here for journal potential of the form Vx is equals to lambda mod x to the power m. Energy dependence on lambda would be twice m plus 2 and n plus half 2m into m plus 2. That is general relationship. We can use it all the time in JWKB approximation. Here R is given. So, energy dependent En on N would be 2R divided by R plus 2. Which means our option D is correct. In this problem we have the partial expansion differential cross section is given by this term where theta is scattering angle for certain neutron nucleus scattering it is found that two lowest phase shifts delta 0 and delta 1 corresponding to S and P wave respectively satisfy this relation. Assume that other phase shifts are negligibly small, the differential cross section reaches its minimum value for cos theta equal to. So, in this problem, del sigma by del cos theta summation L 2L plus 1 e to the power i delta l sine and delta l p l cos theta since quotient says s and p wave 
are present. S wave corresponds to L is equals to 0 and P wave corresponds to L is equals to 1. That means L is equals to 0 and L1 are present, rest we can neglect it. So del sigma by del cos theta is equals to 2 into 0 plus 1 e to the power i delta 0 sine delta 0 p0 cos theta plus 2 into 1 plus 1 e power i delta 1 sine delta 1 p1 cos theta. So these two terms are present here. We would be having e to power i delta 0 sin delta 0 p0 cos theta is 1 so i'll just write it down simply like this 3 e to the power i delta 1 sin delta 1 and p1 cos theta is cos theta now this term has to be minimum that means equals to 0 now cos theta can be defined as e to the power i delta 0 sin delta 0 divided by minus 3 e to the power i delta 1 sin delta 1. Further, we can check it delta 1 is equal to delta naught by 2. So, delta 1 is equal to delta naught by 2. We can write it down here for minus i delta 0 sin delta 0 divided by minus 3 e to the power. Here, this term is not minus i delta 0 by 2 sin delta 0 by 2. This term can be written as minus e to the power i delta 0 by 2 twice sin del 0 by 2 cos del 0 by 2 divided by 3 sin del 0 by 2. So if we further modified it, we would get minus 2 by 3 e to the power i del 0 by 2 cos del 0 by 2. This taking the real part only, we would be having minus 2 by 3 cos square del 0 by 2 which can be written as minus 2 by 3 cos square delta 1. Here we have used e to the power i del 0 to real part of this term that is cos del 0 by 2. So check it out the answer would be option c minus 2 by 3 cos square delta 1. In this problem a charge spinless particle is subject to, to, to an attractive potential Vx that is Vxyz is equals to half k x square plus y square plus z square. Now a perturbation in the form of weak magnetic field B, j, B is equals to B naught k is phase drawn. So, into how many distinct level will the second excited state of unperturbed Hamiltonian split? Now, we also know that perturbed Hamiltonian in the presence of 
weak magnetic field is given by stress is equals to minus mu dot b and mu would be defined as minus e by 2m s dot b since s is sp less that is 0 that means perturbed Hamiltonian in 0. So, there would be no correction in energy due to the presence of magnetic field thus we have only unperturbed Hamiltonian Unperturbed Hamiltonian H0 would be P square by twice M plus half K X square plus Y square plus Z square. Now, energy corresponding to this Hamiltonian would be NX, NY, and Z would be NX plus NY plus and z plus 3 by 2 h cross omega for ground state nx plus ny plus and z is equals to 1 for first excited state nx plus ny plus nz is equals to 1. For second excited state nx plus ny plus nz is equals to 2. Degeneracy in 3D harmonic oscillator is given by g n is equals to n plus 1 to n plus 2 divided by 2. So, Degeneracy in second excited state given by Gn is equals to two plus one, two plus two divided by 2 is equals to 6. So, second excited state of unperturbed Hamiltonian is split into 5 lines. Total number of lines is five, 6. That means single line splits into 
five lines. Five different level, five different states. So our answer would be option A. This question is related to quantum scattering in which uh, the elastic scattering of charged particle of mass m of an atom can be approximated by Vr equals to alpha r e k power minus r by r. If the wave of incoming particle is k, the scattering angle is 2 theta, then differential cross section. Now, in this option here, it is plus and again it is plus. So, put these options are not there, means positive sign is missing in the option. So, we are having, we have to determine the differential cross section sigma theta. Now, to solve this problem, we can go with the approximation methods, means elimination method. For example, our potential is defined as alpha to the power r into e to the power r minus r. If I assumed r tends to infinity, capital R, that means we are reduced to if r tends to infinity, v r is equal to alpha r e to the power minus r by infinity, that means alpha to the power r. Here v r is equal to alpha r is nothing but columbic scattering. in which f of sigma theta Rutherford scattering is proportional to cos x power 4 theta if scattering angle if scattering angle is 2 theta two theta now so any option which is having sigma theta proportional to cos ki power 4 theta would be our answer. Let us go with the options. Now cos ki power 4 theta means sigma theta is proportional to 1 by sin ki power 4 theta. So let us check out which option is having 1 by sin ki power 4 theta. This option is having 1 by sin square. So, this is not our answer. This option is having 1 by sin square theta. This would not be our answer. So, we are having two options. Now, problem is this positive sign would be here, not here. Ha. So, we are left with two options. One is this and another is this and similarly this positive sign would be here so we are left with two options one is this one that is f sigma theta is proportional is equals to m alpha square r k power 4 divided by h k power 4 2 k square r square plus sin square theta k square and another one is sigma theta m square alpha r square r k power 4 h k power 4 1 plus 4 k square r square sin square theta square. Now as I told you, we have to check it out for the limit r tends to infinity. Sigma theta limit r tends to infinity that means m alpha square r 
पावर फोर डिवाइडेड बाय एच की पावर फोर आर की पावर फोर टू के स्क्वायर प्लस वन बाय आर स्क्वायर साइन स्क्वायर थीटा आर सो आर कैंसिल हो जाएगा वेन वी सब्सटीट्यूट दिस टू वी गेट रिजल्ट एम एल्फा स्क्वायर एच की पावर फोर इंटू टू के स्क्वायर की पावर स्क्वायर सो देर इज नो साइन डिपेंडेंट देर इज नो डिपेंडेंस और सेगमा थीटा ऑन साइन दैट मीन्स दिस इज नॉट अवर ऑप्शन नाउ लेटेस्ट एज्यूम दिस वैल्यू ऑफ सिग्मा थीटा सिग्मा थीटा इज इक्वल्स टू एम स्क्वायर एल्फा स्क्वायर आर की पावर फोर डिवाइडेड बाय एच क्रॉस फोर वन प्लस फोर के स्क्वायर आर स्क्वायर साइन स्क्वायर थीटा का होल स्क्वायर नाउ इन द लिमिट सिग्मा थीटा इन द लिमिट आर टेंस टू इन्फिनिटी एम स्क्वायर एल्फा स्क्वायर आर टू दावर फोर एच की पावर फोर आर टू दावर फोर वन बाय आर स्क्वायर प्लस फोर के स्क्वायर साइन स्क्वायर थीटा का होल स्क्वायर नाउ आर पुट कैंसिल सो सिग्मा थीटा हेयर इन दिस लिमिट आर टेंस टू इन्फिनिटी अप्रोच इज एम स्क्वायर एल्फा स्क्वायर एच की पावर फोर इंटू फोर के स्क्वायर साइन स्क्वायर थीटा का स्क्वायर और सिग्मा थीटा इज प्रपोर्शनल टू वन बाय साइन पावर फोर थीटा दैट मीन्स दिस इज अवर करेक्ट आंसर सो ऑप्शन डी इज अवर करेक्ट आंसर वी हैव नॉट गोन टू द डिटेल इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ दिस टर्म वी जस्ट हैव यूज द अप्रोक्सीमेशन मैथड इन दिस प्रॉब्लम ऑन ऑपरेटर ए डिफाइन डेट एक्स डेल बाय डेल एक्स डेल्टा एक्स डेल्टा एक्स इज डिराक डेल्टा फंक्शन एक्स ऑन स्पेस ऑफ रियल वैल्यूड स्क्वायर इंटीग्रेबल फंक्शन ऑन द रियल लाइन दिस ऑपरेटर ए इज इक्वल टू सो लेट अस सेड इट ए इज ऑपरेटिंग ऑन डी एक्स नाउ एक्स डेल बाय डेल एक्स डेल एक्स डी एक्स नाउ यूजिंग द इंटीग्रेशन बाय पार्ट मैथड वी वुड बी हैविंग इट एक्स डेल्टा एक्स माइनस डेल एक्स डी एक्स दिस टर्म शुड वेनिस इज आउट सो वी वुड बी लेफ्ट एज इट वुड बी फाइन एट डेल्टा एक्स डी एक्स और वी कैन राइट इट डाउन माइनस डेल्टा एक्स डी एक्स डेट मीन्स माई ऑपरेटर ए इज एक्स डेल बाय डेल एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस डेल्टा एक्स दैट मीन्स ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम